Hi, my name's Cheryl from Burton's Veterinary Equipment and the video that you're about to watch is the setting up of the Huger Vis69 Mon video processor and video scope. Introducing the setup to the Huger 69 video processor. The unit is supplied with a power lead including a filter that is connected to the rear of the video processor. It is the connection with the video filter cable. This will eliminate noise from external sources such as mobile phones and CCTV cameras. The next thing to do is to take your signal cable from the rear of the video processor, ensuring that it is screwed in firmly and connect up to the rear of the video monitor. Be careful not to misalign the connections as this will cause damage to the cable. The processor is supplied with a keyboard for entering patient demographics and that is connected into the USB socket on the rear of the processor. On the front of the video processor you can now connect the signal cable which has a red dot on the top and you align that at 12 o'clock on the front of the processor. Connect in the supplied USB to the front of the video processor. The water bottle has two O-rings, one in the bottle lid and the second one on the end of the connection which you will connect into the video endoscope. Half fill the water bottle with distilled or purified water and connect to the unit. There is a catch on the side, so it sits on the side here. Be careful that the pipe does not anti-siphon. Connect the video scope into the video processor and push it in so it firmly locks into position. Connect the signal cable from the front of the processor to the video scope. Again, there is a little dot at a red dot and you align that at 12 o'clock on the scope and push securely. Connect up the water bottle to the water bottle port and connect your medical aspiration tubing for your medical suction unit to the aspiration port on the scope. To prepare your system ready for the endoscopist, turn on the power button. Turn on the light and turn on the pump. The first thing to do is to white balance the scope. Take a piece of white A4 paper or a white swab. Make yourself a little ice cream cone so you don't get refractions of light from external sources and press AWB on the front of the processor. That will indicate that the white balance function has been completed on the screen. Take the tip of the scope into some clean water and cover the blue button on the scope to ensure you have a steady stream of air. With your medical aspirator turned on, push and hold the red button down for five to six seconds in order to collect approximately 100 millimetres of clean water in your medical aspiration jar. Lift the tip of the scope out of the water Press the blue button all the way down to ensure you had a steady stream of water coming across the lenses at the distal end of the scope. The scope is now prepared and ready for the endoscopist. To enter the patient details onto your still images, press enter. It'll bring up the name of the hospital, enter the name of the hospital with a keyboard. Press enter to enter the name of the endoscopist. The ID number, you could use your patient uh, electronics number or a unique identification number that you've generated for the case. The name of the patient, the gender, and the age of the patient. Press enter and the patient details will be saved on the side. You can adjust the light from the front of the video processor. In the menu function, you can also adjust the brightness or decrease the brightness using the arrows on the either side. 
Additional menu features include contrast, saturation, red, blue and sharpness. You shouldn't need to make too many changes, they are preset. The unit also enables you to zoom in on the image, which is the bottom button just here. And there are three different magnification sizes. You can also zoom in on the image. One, two, three magnification settings for the zoom function. When you hit freeze on the front of the unit, you will also have picture in picture, which is a live video image whilst the image on the screen is frozen. To release the frozen image, press freeze again. By hitting freeze, that will also capture a still image which will be saved directly to the USB. To capture video, press record. The timer will appear in the top right hand corner of the screen. You need to record a minimum of 10 seconds. To stop the recording, press record again. To view your images, press view and the box on the right hand side will demonstrate your captured video image and your captured still image. To come out of that, press view again to take you back to a live image.